Driving through Germany truly is dreamy. We left Erfurt and made it to Frankfurt. The next morning we got breakfast nearby at the coffee club. A very cute tiny cafe. The yogurt bowl and sandwich were delicious. It was nice getting a workout in at the hotel gym. Our baby was getting a workout too and was planking with us. He recently learned to roll onto his tummy and has been obsessed with tummy time. Today, we are visiting the touristy areas of Frankfurt. This Frankfurter Romer is Frankfurt's 600-year-old city hall, and this is another part of Romerberg on the eastern side. I love how the buildings contrast with the sky. Didn't spend too long in and around this area because I was overwhelmed with all the noise and how many people there were. I'm quite introverted and I was feeling a bit drained. We grabbed some beer and classic German food before calling it a day. Another day, another acai bowl craving, this time at Very Berry. I loved how kind of hidden in the neighborhood this place was. We almost passed it. Thank you. I adore the different pink textures, the art deco-esque vases, and pretty flowers. Paul enjoyed his iced coffee, and my green juice was refreshing. Paul ended up getting pitaya with a nut mix, while I got an acai and chia bowl. Both were satisfyingly delicious. We didn't really know what to do in Frankfurt, so we made a day trip to Michaelstadt. If you have any suggestions for Frankfurt, please let us know so maybe one day we can return and experience your recommendations. Back to Michaelstadt. My first impressions is that this town is so charming. I love the cute paintings on the buildings. and all the little details and color accents. It ate a colorful breakfast at this cute restaurant with a view of the town hall. Oh, this is not... Jeez. And of course, got cake for dessert. Black forest cake and... Strawberry cream. Whoa. Michael Stat was first mentioned in history in the year 741. It is one of the oldest settlements in the inner Odenwald. Most of the stores and restaurants were closed today. So the town was pretty empty. But it was so nice to walk around leisurely and enjoy the quietness, which was a good change from the bustling city of Frankfurt. There's such a fairy tale feel with small German towns. A six minute drive away, we spent a little time in another quaint town called Urbach. I love that there were areas of moving water and the buildings were equally stunning. We ended our day with currywurst and fries with Dutch sauce. So good. Making our way to Hamburg now. Twenty percent chance of rain in Germany means hundred percent chance. Oh, 
After settling in our hotel for the night, the next morning we went scavenging for food. It was a beautiful walk to the Portuguese quarter. I've been really enjoying a simple meat and cheese platter, and I always love pastries and breads. Forgot to film our Portuguese egg tarts. They were pretty delicious. But our favorite is still the ones we had in Portugal that we had a few years ago on our layover. On our way back to our room, it started hailing. I don't think I've ever walked in hail before. The next day, Paul and I each took a yoga class in this artsy area. The class was completely in German. Thankfully, Paul and I have been practicing yoga for a while, so we were able to easily follow along. We enjoy going to yoga classes in different countries. It's always fun to see how people practice. For dinner, we went back to the Portuguese quarter. Paul was craving some seafood, and you can't go wrong with potatoes and veggies. Our servers were also very friendly. Got it. Yeah, sleep this time. <laughs> the next day, we walked along the port. It was so nice to see a larger body of water. I've been missing the water, so this was a nice change of scenery. This area also reminded me a bit of an area in San Francisco. The street was filled with talented buskers. It was so fun to hear all of their different music as we enjoyed the view. Here we are at the warehouse district. We wanted to do a coffee tasting but they only had tastings completely in German. But at least we got to explore their coffee shop. We grabbed a dessert and chose two types of pressed coffee. I don't really drink coffee, but you can't go here and not try something. Paul really liked the coffee. He thought the coffee was very light, floral, and almost tasted like a tea. The cake was tasty and paired perfectly with our coffee. The shop had a variety of beans. We wanted to take some home, but we had minimal space in our travel backpacks. So we settled on some chocolate bars instead to bring back for friends since those pack more easily. For a snack, nearby we got a bratwurst and fries. Both were so good. Another meal with a great view. The Roth house is so beautiful and grand. The next day, we finally got a hamburger and we decided to have it at Dolce. The concept of minced meat formed into a patty was thought to have started here in Hamburg, but placing it between buns was thought to have started in the US. Our burgers were so juicy and savory. We are already thinking of bringing our family to try when we make our way back after seeing them in Denmark. Father's Day is coming up. I made Paul walk for a while and surprised him with a Choco Versum tour since he loves chocolate so much. I couldn't film but the tour was pretty informative. We got to see some machines up close and try different stages of chocolate as it's being made. We learned the history of chocolate, including the dark parts that most people don't know about. 
such as people slaving away to collect the cacao beans and barely earning anything for their labor, while larger entities acquired majority of the money. So now we know what symbols and words to look for on chocolate packaging to make sure the people involved are treated fairly <laughs> and the environment is respected. We had fun making our own chocolate bars to bring home. Paul put wasabi peas and I put gummy bears. On our last day here in Hamburg, we did a more thorough leisure and aimless walk throughout the city. Hamburg was such a pleasant surprise and we cannot wait to come back with our family in a few weeks to share the experience. Hopefully in the future, we can come back with a longer time so we can explore more.